short dog tales from around the world. From the cleverest presidential diversions and baboons stealing, to strange superstitions and hunting illnesses, here are the funniest, cutest, and witty short dog tales worldwide. If you like this video, subscribe and in the comments tell us an incredible story about dogs that you have ever heard of. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Smarty Paws Street dogs in Moscow are probably among the cleverest you will ever find. Their behavior is so specialized that it differentiates them from domesticated dogs and wolves. Pack leaders tend to be the most intelligent, not the strongest. And packs tend to deploy its cuter members first, as they are most successful at begging for food just because they're so cute. Moscow's stray dogs have figured out how to use the very complex subway system. They even know how to get into their regular stops. In the morning, they travel into the city to beg for food, and in the afternoon, they catch the last train to go home in the evening. Digging up history. The ancient Manbaya Indians from the Grand Chaco in South America believe that humans actually used to live underground until a dog dug us out. Honor thy dog. Tehar is a festival that is celebrated in Nepal. For an entire day, they celebrate dogs. They are thankful for their friendship and loyalty. The Lotto Winner In order to keep the streets clean from dog poo, in New Taipei City, Taiwan, anyone walking with a bag of dog poop, and of course their pooch, was entered into a lottery for gold ingots and other prizes. A helping paw. The Appalachian Trail is a 2,160-mile race. In 2010, a blind hiker named Bill Irwin completed the trail with the help of his CNI dog after falling about 5,000 times. But hey, he made it. Superstitions. There are so many superstitions about dogs. In Scotland, a strange dog coming to the house means a new friendship. In England, to meet a spotted or black and white dog on your way to a business appointment is lucky. Also, if you were to see three white dogs together, that was considered really lucky. On the other hand, black dogs were considered unlucky, especially if they crossed a traveler's path or followed someone and refused to leave them. Fishermen traditionally saw dogs as very unlucky and will not take one in their voyage or mention the word dog while at sea. Nose of Gold There are so many trained dogs to do amazing things, from finding bombs to finding illness, but using a basic food reward system you can train your normal household dog into a trained one to detect breast cancer with 90 to 100% success rate when checked by biopsy confirmation, only by smelling patient's breath. And this is only with few weeks of training. The Glowing Clone In 2001, South Korean scientists successfully cloned a dog and they actually added an extra glow to it. They genetically modified it so it can glow in the dark. Thank the dog. Mexico City has a very interesting way of keeping the parks clean. There are special bins in Mexico City which people can deposit their dog's poop if they want to get free Wi-Fi. The container measures the weight of the poop and therefore decides the number of minutes of free Wi-Fi every pound of feces gets. Ghost Watcher Dogs have superpowers. Since ancient times, dogs have been credited with the power of sensing supernatural influences, seeing spirits, fairies, ghosts, or deities which are invisible to human eyes. According to the legends in Wales, dogs are the only ones who could see the death-bringing hounds of a noon. And in ancient Greece, dogs were said to be able to see Hecate, who will foretell a death. 
Dogs are believed to be aware of the presence of ghosts, and their barking, whimpering, or howling is often the first warning of a supernatural occurrence. The President of All Diversions President Gerald Ford had a dog named Liberty. Liberty was trained to create diversions in meetings. If President Ford wanted to end a conversation in the Oval Office, he will signal Liberty, and Liberty, clever little girl she was, will start wagging her tail to the guests, creating a natural break on the conversation. The way the dog ran away. Cherokee legend says that the Milky Way was formed when a dog stole some cornmeal. He was chased away, and as he was running north, he spilled cornmeal in his wake. That's why the Cherokees called the Milky Way the way the dog ran away. The baboon who stole the dog. Who will ever think that a monkey will need a pet? But it has been observed that baboons in the wild kidnap and raise feral dogs as pets. The dogs are basically trained to protect the baboon's family from other feral dogs, and baboons, in exchange, care for them, and that includes grooming, feeding, and even petting. Grooming is only done for those who are considered as family. A military reunion. Before President Clinton took power in the White House, dogs used in wars after World War II typically were not returned to their owners because the military was afraid that the dogs would attack anyone on the street. However, in 2000, President Clinton signed a bill that allowed military dogs to be adopted as long as the government was not liable for any injuries or damages done by former military dogs. Transferring the illness. According to a tradition by the Lakota Sioux Indians in South Dakota, it was said that a member of the tribe, if they got sick, would lay by a dog and the sickness will transfer from the tribal member into the dog. On some of the reservations nowadays among the elders, this practice is still taking place today. Who was first? Buddy. Buddy was the first seen eye dog in America. In 1928, his owner, Morris Frank, brought him from Switzerland. The Osborne's dog. Ozzy Osborne, he is known as a rock star, but he is truly a hero to his wife, Sharon. Sharon had a Pomeranian who got attacked by a coyote. Ozzy Osborne, being a loving husband that he is, tackled the coyote until it was released. Sharon was so happy to have her Pomeranian back. Doggy Workout Doga is a type of yoga in which people use yoga to achieve harmony with their pets. Dogs can either be used to be lifted and prep or they can stretch right next to their owners. It's reported that it started in New York in about 2002 when Susan Tatelman started Yoga for Dogs. Leave it to the Irish. The Irish love and respect their dogs so much that if a warrior or a king gained the loyalty of a hound, they will be given the prefix ku, meaning hound, and it was added before their own name to show others that they were worthy of the respect and loyalty of a dog. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos. Thank you for watching this video about short dog tales from around the world. Until next time.